I am a chair addict. I must have a chair with me when I go backpacking. So over the years, I've gone from one chair to another, to another, to another. And uh, I got three chairs here now. I think I'll do a review of all three of them. Uh, one of them is the winner. Two of them are getting so sold off right now. Um, well, I'll explain more later. I've had these two chairs for quite a while now. Um, the idea was to, the one on the left, the Alight, I had, I bought first and I really liked it a lot. Uh, but I am trying to find the comfortable chair that weighs a pound. Um, I believe the Alight claimed to be one pound, six ounces. Um, I just put it on a scale with its stuff bag. It's one pound ten ounces. That's nowhere near one pound. Um, this he Helionox, I can't remember which model it's called. I'm sure I'll write it in. Um, came the next year, and I figured that I would use these two and figure out which one I wanted to keep. Get rid of the other one. It was a really hard decision. Um, comparing these two, these are two very interesting chairs to compare. The Helinox uh, on my scale was one pound six ounces, I believe. Um, it is lighter. It's also short, uh, taller. There's a little bit more ground clearance there, just a little, but you can feel it when you're sitting on it. Um, the Helinox has four points of contact, which I kind of like, um, instead of the Light has two points of contact in the back and a bar in the front. That's a little unwieldy. Um, however, I believe that the Alight is just a little more comfortable uh, in, in, in one respect, uh, the high back. The back is a little higher, and that, that matters more than I thought when I did a sit comparison. Um, the Helinox is higher off the ground. That matters too. When you're old like I am and you're tired and you have to get yourself off the ground, the, the, the more head start you have, the better. This year, I found an awesome deal. I also never want to spend more than $100 on one of these things. That's why I never just went to the very best one. But I got a deal on this thing. Um, I got it for under 100 bucks with a bunch of specials and just look at it. It is so much higher off the ground than the other two. And it is, and it has a high back, higher than the Helinox. Um, I don't think it's quite as high as the Alight, uh, but it weighs one pound two ounces in its stuff bag, and it's way off the ground. It's way better than the other two. Uh, another odd th uh, thing about uh, the these two here, Al although the Alight is the heavier of the two, clearly. It's also the smaller. It compresses down smaller. The Helinox um, just doesn't. Uh, the the way the uh, bars fold up together, you, it only compresses so far. And I have a small backpack. It takes more room in my backpack than the lesser chair, the way I consider it. I consider the Alight somewhat uh, lesser than this Helinox here. This Helinox, um, what's it called? Chair Zero. This is the best one I've ever tried. Um, at under $100, I think it lists as $130, but if you get lucky, you can get it for $100. And at one pound, two ounces, that is close enough to a pound for me. And I can't wait to get it out in the field. It's nice, it's comfortable. Uh, legs are almost touching the ground here. Uh, calves are almost on the ground. Uh, if you don't have shoes and the ground isn't just right, your legs are just sitting in the dirt. That's something to consider. This is the lowest.
distance is a little better. Not quite as high in the back, so uh, part of me is still kind of holding my head and neck up. But I'm using a little bit more effort to stabilize the top of my body. I'm a little bit higher off the ground. I'm, I'm definitely off the ground here. My legs are not in danger of uh, falling into dirt and getting all dirty in the back of my calves here. All I can say is, ta-da, this is awesome. This feels like a real chair. This doesn't feel like I'm uh, sitting on the ground. I'm... Another problem with these chairs is that they're so low to the ground that when you're eating, how do you describe this? Eating out of your bag, you, uh, well, and that happens a lot. <laughs> If you're, if you're not careful when you're sitting down, you just knock over the whole thing. Uh, when you're eating on this thing, you, you can't really get over the plate and eat, you know? You can't hold it in your lap and eat. It's, it's hard, okay? I got a bit of a belly, that's in the way too, but it's, it's, the, uh, it's the fact that I'm in more of a lounge chair than an actual chair. And this one here, I can actually lean forward and sit up straight and eat without getting food all over. Hello, train. So, that's about it. I love this chair and I cannot wait to bring it into the field. It's smaller than either of these two when compressed. It's lighter than both of them. It's taller than both of them. It wins on every account except price. It's okay with me, though. Oh, and I can get out of it easily. 